Today's project is zipper flowers. We are going to show you how to make two different types of flowers. Our first one is a rosette and our next one is a daisy flower. I'm going to show you how to make the rosette and Gina is going to show you how to make the daisy flower. What you need is your glue gun, glue, a set of old scissors and um, about a one yard zipper and you use a little one bit and more. a quarter one and a quarter for and the my, bigger flower and my favorite part about these zippers is pulling them apart now the Riley Blake zippers they don't have any pulls so they're just meant to be used for decorations and accessories and I think this is a little bit longer than a yard it looks so. like a couple yards but that's yes. okay <laughs> I would make a giant zipper flower so I'm going to cut this just a little bit and you can crop cut when it's together and but you don't want to wear use your good scissors but when you it's already split apart then you can just cut between your teeth and it's very easily cut like that so I'm gonna put this over here and we're gonna get started okay All right. well to get started um, Gina and I sometimes do it the same sometimes different but um, you need a little spot of glue and I always put my teeth going down to kind of hide them and I like to take my corner up to my zipper edge so that I can then roll. But whichever way you do it, doesn't matter. Perfectly <laughs> fine. We've never made two the exact same. Really, the idea is just to keep rolling and get your center. And then I, you know, do a spot of glue. And when we just kind of make this little cinnamon roll, little jelly roll, and we're just turning towards the center like this. And we just do a little at a time. And as you're holding your um, edges in place, so the glue kind of sets a little bit. And we did this a few weeks ago, didn't we? Did. we? In Florida Some at the really Southern Women's Show. really fun ladies. Yeah. And they requested us to do this tutorial online. So this is one of the reasons why so we're doing it. So this is for it. them. We're probably 50 or 60, I think. Yeah. And they'd never done any kind of craft like this before. And they had some great ideas. They did. Headbands, necklaces, bracelets. Now, once you get your little center section, I think that's the hardest part to do. Right. You're going to start. Uh, I just do a couple rolls for my center section. Gina does. How many do At you least do? five. Four or five. And then. Oh, I like to have it at least an inch for that center part because my petals are larger. Then you start going around. I make um, loop it with the teeth facing up and then the fabric part of the zipper on the bottom. And I like to it. yep just get that once so once you get the center I think those petals go pretty quick but I just hold that center down for a minute. I need to get all these petal. You need to slowly work around your center section. And again, Gina takes bigger loops to make that daisy. Yep. And I'm making smaller loops to make the little rosette. But it's the same process in twisting and looping, making sure the teeth of your zipper are facing upwards. all these little glue gun threads. And you're really just going around and filling in those little spaces. I notice you kind of loop. You'll have a petal here and then a petal shadowing it on the outside. I'm just building layers. And I put one of these on. I had a white baseball cap that was very plain. And I put one of these on, and I you even so did that magazine layout with yes, we sandals. Did. We yep. did. That was last year. Yep. Again, it's just another way to add a unique look to a, you know, a bag or a hat or. A and these are great, like on a sweater as a brooch. You could put fabric around them or tulle. But this could be your center. 
And these are stress relievers. <laughs> Remember that first year at Mark? <laughs> Actually. I think we sat in the booth and did these the whole time they were at Sample Spree. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of fun just to loop around. And I think that's how many pieces I, think I I'm want. about done, too. You can just cut off your end right like that. Might do one more right there to make that full. And then I'm going to clip off this back. We have this little clip. This is like a stick-on clip, but it'll never stick on unless you add a little glue. So you add a little glue on it. So you add it, make it a pin or a brooch, and then you can just take it. To, instead of putting it directly on your project, you can put a pin on so you can remove it. And there you go. There's a rosette and a daisy flower. There you go. And that's so easy to make and just another clever way to use zippers, new and old.